Hey there everyone, so it's Yekken here from Train Ground. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the GoPro Hero Action Camera. Yes, this is being launched alongside with the GoPro Hero 13 Black. Yes, and this is an affordable action camera today, you can actually get it. So for the Malaysia market, it's priced at 999 ringgit Malaysia. So I'm not going to bore you too much about the specification and details too much. Let's dive down straight with the design. Now. In terms of the design, looks very iconic, like the uh, GoPro action cameras you have been seeing along. Black color with the blue color wording and the logo. Easily to identify, this is an action camera by GoPro. And also in terms of the small form factor, this guy is just way in at 86 gram. Wow, truly remarkable. So it's perfect for those who just need an action camera and just throw in the pocket or bag or pouches. This is the one to go for. And in terms of the design, layout pretty similar to all the latest Hero series. Okay, you have your power button at the side here. And then you have your recording button on top. Very much straightforward. And then at the bottom here, you have the folding fingers. So this one for you to put onto your mouth. Yep, pretty much that's it. And then on the uh, side here, here is the door. You open it up, okay? And you can access the uh, micro SD card and also your USB Type-C charging port. Now the battery wise is a built-in battery. You can't remove it. So more details about the battery later on. And over onto the rear, you have a 1.76 inches touchscreen LCD display. Now, let's talk about the sensor on this GoPro Hero. So it's using a 12 megapixel sensor and the lens is actually shooting around like 15 millimeter. So it's actually quite wide. And if you need those really huge wide shots, this guy actually excels in that area. However, I do have to say that the uh, videos are being recorded in 8-bit color format and I will have to say video output and also the photo output is actually quite contrasty and kind of a little bit flat. Definitely if you are going to take a lot of videos and photos with this GoPro Hero, I would say you are going to need to do some color editing to tweak it back add back some saturation to make it look much more livelier. Despite the uh, colors output, I think this actually works quite good to be honest. If you have the good lighting condition, if you are shooting in low light condition, yeah, you definitely notice there will be some noises occurring on the uh, videos and photos as well. In terms of stabilization, you are required to export the footages from your GoPro using the GoPro Quick App to your smartphone. So from your smartphone there, it will use the software to do digital stabilization and the stabilization footage looks amazing quite nice however if you just outright grab the footages via the micro sd card yeah you won't get the stabilized footages let's head over to the operation of this gopro hero once you start up it's pretty straightforward you enter to the video okay and then you can just either switch to photo or slow-mo. Pretty straightforward, right? But I do have to say the processing power here is very slow. Check out. I want to switch to photo. It's going to need to take some time. And even for the uh, quick recording button, okay, when you press it up on top, the shutter button here, yeah, it's also going to take some time. So I highly recommend you, if you don't want to miss your session, keep recording it. Okay, so this is my advice for you. 
And also, there's actually not much of things for you to select onto. So basically, you swipe down, okay? You can access some of your settings. Uh, you can lock your screen. And then you can go to battery saver. Now, one thing, if you use your battery saver over here, all your content will be shot in 1080p. So that is one way for you to change the resolution for your video recording. But for me, I highly recommend you just shoot everything in 4K. You can still output back to 1080p via the GoPro Quick App. And that's important. And then you can swipe to the right. You can go to connect device or preferences. Yeah, you can set up everything. Straightforward. And when you swipe to the right side over here, it shows you like what's your memory card slot size, right? And you can uh, connect to your cloud services as well. So all you know, I will say this thing, you really have to rely on, not only just on the system itself, but also with the quick app as well. Now, right now, I have already hooked up to my smartphone via the GoPro Quick app here. And as you can see, yeah, basically, there's not much of option for me to do any settings as well. So you, you can only like do battery saver, okay, Wi-Fi band, beeps, LEDs, auto off, LCD brightness, regional format, orientation, or, you know, yeah, basically that's it. There's, there's really not much. Apart from just changing to video to photo. Okay. Slow-mo. Yeah. Pretty much straightforward. You don't have much accessibility, to be honest, for doing any additional settings. So there's no Pro Tune here. There's no HDR photos or whatsoever. Whatever you get, it's just in there with the hardware. Up next, let's talk about the battery on the GoPro Hero here. It's packing a built-in 1,255 milliamp battery and I've tried to push it to the limit recording 4K 30 frames per second video continuously for more than 40, slightly 40 minutes. It left me from 100% battery down to 11% battery. So I think it's quite impressive and safe to say that yeah, you can actually shoot like around like 45 minutes of uh, 4K 30 frames per second videos on this GoPro Hero. And when you really need to charge it up, uh, I've tried it like charge it 15, 20 minutes-ish from 0% battery level status. It got me back up to 60%. Yeah, quite amazing to be honest. So we have reached to the end point for this GoPro Hero action camera review. It's time for me to give my final verdict. Now, price at 999 Ringgit Malaysia is really hard for any users to ignore what it can actually deliver. Small form factor, able to record video up to 4K 30 frames per second. You can take photos, you can do slow-mo videos. What more do you want? Now, definitely there is also some downside onto it whereby you really have to rely on the uh, GoPro Quick App to stabilize the footage and there's very limited settings for you to adjust when you want to record videos or take photos as well. So if you give and take, definitely this is actually a perfect pairing for you to capture uh, videos, photos with wide field of view. That's what I think this GoPro hero action camera can offer to the user now what is my recommendation i would say this is more for someone who is a casual user someone need an action camera that's able to capture 4k 30 frames per second or you want that compact form factor this is the one to go for hard to ignore and buying it should you be outright buying it put it in your buying list or forget it i'll say put it in your buying list if 
you are looking for an action camera that doesn't break your bank. This is the guy. And for the ratings, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Definitely, I love the uh, compact form factor and the ability to shoot 4K 30 frames per second. However, I have some things I don't like, especially the lack of uh, adjustment settings when you record videos and photos and quite heavy rely on the GoPro Quick app. And with that, that's my review for the GoPro Hero action camera. Special shout out thanks to GoPro Malaysia for providing a loan review unit for review purposes only. There's no cash compensation. Whatever I'm saying here is actually based on my own personal experience. No creative input, no final approval is needed for this video. And also the brand is actually watching at the same time when I upload this. Yeah, so hopefully you kind of like it. And if you do like the video, please go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're still new and uh, follow us on the social media account. Last but not least, head to the website, go ahead and read all the news articles. And yeah, pretty much that's it. I need to end the video. It has been a long one. And you can hear from training ground. Bow down to you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, okay? That's a promise. I'll see you guys. Yeah, bye.